Formula One is coming back, and it's coming back with a vengeance. And if you haven't watched this channel before, it's Rob Guilty, it's Cape Town Spares. Today we're going to be talking about the news on Formula One, the latest news and what's on. Let's go and check it out, guys. So, what's the news? What's the news on Formula One? Uh, they're going to start with the practices in, in, in uh, next week. So that's brilliant. And after that, we're off to Bahrain and we start the season. Fantastic, we're back in. But what's the latest news? And uh, according to this, Bottas believes he can win the 2021 title. That's interesting. Should be look good to see. And uh, Haas is modifying their fuel hatch after the Grosjean accident. Looks like they're taking a look at that because after the investigation and all that, they kind of discovered that there was a bit of a glitch with a fuel hatch so yeah that, that could be an issue and uh, Russell is wary of an engine chain taking uh, well, Russell is wary of Ferrari taking a big step um, and he also mentioned that uh, he'd be quite prepared to stay with Williams if he doesn't get the Mercedes seat so that should be interesting to see um, Vettel and Stroll uh, put the Aston Martin through its paces and it's going to be such an interesting season because we've got Sainz in the Ferrari we've got Vettel in the Aston Martin we've got Mick Schumacher who's joined Haas that's news hmm. uh, it took him 15 hours to get his seat sorted out <laughs> that's quite interesting but yeah, I suppose <clears throat> you know, if you want a decent seat if you want your seat to fit you correctly and what not in a race car you need to spend time on it and even then it's not perfect they're going to have to go back and do a little bit more work to it, I believe. So that's quite interesting to see itself. Um, let's have a look at Bottas. Bottas absolutely believes he can win the 2021 title. What does he say? He says his mental health is a challenge and, and uh, he's no stranger to psychological struggles. Uh, he spent the winter break working on keeping a happy head for a tough 2021 campaign. Yeah, but once again, he's up against Hamilton. He's up against the top guy in the world. So I think it might be a little bit difficult for him to actually um, to win the title against that oak at the end of the day. Um, and, and even worse for him, I mean, even if George Russell had joined the team and Hamilton had left, he'd still struggle because George Russell just ran away from him, let's be honest. So I'm a little bit worried for Bottas. Maybe, you know, his career is coming to a bit of an end. It'd be nice for him to win a title, but I don't know if he will. We'll see. Um, Haas to modify the fuel hatch. Um, ooh, what are they going to do? Um, it says here Haas says have uh, modified the fuel hatch and the headrest on their car for 2021 as a result of Grosjean's shocking accident. Um, yeah, I think the biggest one is the fuel hatch cannot be attached to the chassis anymore. So that, that that's the thing and uh, they're, they're working on making the headrest a bit smaller. I don't know if you remember, he struggled to get out of the car when it crashed, so that, that's quite a thing, that's quite, quite a big issue. Um, what tech changes have Williams made under the new livery? Um, I believe Haas are not doing much to their car, so for Mick Schumacher, it's kind of like a test year just to get into Formula 1. I doubt he's going to be able to do much except beat his teammate. Ah, this coffee with Rob, so... Mm. I don't know guys, uh, should be interesting to see what happens with, with Haas, but I don't think they're going to do much. It'll be interesting to see Mick in the racing though. Um, okay, um, well, George Russell and Nic Nicholas Latifi will be racing this this year. A subtle rework of last year's car, the Williams F43B, nonetheless exhibits a significant reworking around its side pod and engine cover area, probably reflecting the revised package of the Mercedes M12 E car unit. Um, also features a similar bubble bulge in the bodywork. Um, if you guys remember, they've got new owners now, so maybe they're spending a bit of money here, and they've made a few changes to the bodywork and it looks like it's going to give a better power spread so maybe we'll see a bit more from Williams this year that's quite interesting it'll be interesting to see a bit more from Williams this year and if they do well they've got a really good driver in Russell uh, we saw that when he was in the Mercedes so it should be quite interesting 
and uh, and then Vettel and Stroll put the Aston Martin through its paces. Uh, the big thing with Vettel is everyone's saying that he, he can't drive a car that oversteers. He struggles with oversteer. Now he's saying he doesn't want a car with too much understeer either. He wants it perfectly balanced and all the rest of it. I can understand that. Who wants a car going around the corner and flying off behind you? So, yeah, okay, there's a lot being said. But let's see how it goes. Maybe this car suits him and he'll be back in the, in the fray again. So that'll be interesting. I'd love to see someone challenging the Mercedes for a title. And uh, I think if we could get the Williams going again, that would be fantastic as well. That would just be brilliant because we need a better season in Formula 1. So what's the season for Formula 1? Well, we're starting in Bahrain. Looks like 28th of March. 26th to the 28th of March. Well, actually, the testing starts next week in Bahrain. Then it's off to Italy. Uh, there's a TBC for April, Spain, then Monaco, Azerbaijan, then Canada, again, France, Austria, Great Britain, Great Britain, hmm, all the way in July, uh, Hungary, July, August, back to Belgium, Netherlands, Italy, Russia, and then off to Singapore, Japan in October, United States in October again, Mexico again, fantastic, Brazil still there, always will be in November, Australia is down to November, remember when Australia always used to be the first race, that was so interesting, then Saudi Arabia and, and all ending in Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia is a TBC, so that should be interesting to be, con to be confirmed, um, I think great races here, Monaco, um, this, uh, the Great Britain, you know, Netherlands is always good, I like Netherlands, uh, Russia is always good actually, and Russia is also quite interesting, uh, United States, the Mexico being back is good, love Brazil, Australia is always fun, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting season, don't know if we're getting spectators back or not, um, will we, won't we, not 100% sure. But let's go and see what it's like. Let's go and have some fun. So I'm going to talk about Formula 1 quite often. Because that's uh, something I love. Something I love watching. And it's, it's been a bit boring over the years. It's actually dropped off a bit. It hasn't been as exciting as it always was. But I think it can come back and it can be the thing again. That's getting more exciting again now. There's some things happening there that are just brilliant. And if you just keep following it, things happen. Guys, thanks for watching, and uh, till the next video, take it easy, it's Rob Guilty. Oh, don't forget to visit the spare shop down there, <laughs> really important. <laughs> Cheers, guys.